Welcome, Cancer. This is going to be your May love reading. Oh, wow. All these cards came out. Okay. <clears throat> we have the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Lovers. Okay, so something may be out of balance here, maybe with a soulmate connection with the lovers, feeling um, like something could be unsatisfying or just feeling like things are unbalanced right now because the lovers is a very strong connection. This is soulmate type of energy, higher level of commitment. And I do see that there is maybe possibly healing also within a connection. But with the four of cups in the reverse, it's basically saying that something feels like a lack of excitement okay there could be a feeling of feeling unhappy or wanting more um so with the four cups there could be focusing or feeling unsatisfied or frustrated here but there is a need for um but this does represent a perspective shift also so something's something i feel is happening within this connection because it looks like both of you guys want to be together here are trying to work something out here. Hmm. Past. Oh, okay. It looks like something may have been very toxic in the past regarding the situation. You could be having like, still thinking this person is telling lies or not telling you the truth in some way. But this love, like this connection, feels like there's a want to persevere. There's a want to continue this. The challenge is something feels deceitful. Something that it feels like there's something's missing. Um, and I feel like what Spirit is saying is that there's healing here. There's a lot of healing to do within this connection. Huh. This person is thinking about this strength. They are wanting to have the courage. They are feeling at a crossroads here and they're it's like gaining the strength um, to message you in some way, but it's still hard with this King of Pentacles. It's come off a bit, you know, unstable or it's not clear still. And the devil is having a big impact, I feel, with this challenge in the present moment because the it's still saying you know this is this could be why everything is a little difficult here or really difficult here is because of things that are stemming from the past and maybe trickling into the future a bit with that seven of swords so let's go ahead and clarify with that page of wands energy seven of pentacles this person is really wants to continue to invest they do want to message you they are very curious they want to spark things up again there's a strong need of adventure i uh, maybe vacationing or going somewhere ace of wands yeah there's like a a feeling of wanting an adventure also but again there's like both of you guys are wanting that spark in a way but we have death something here is still present and it's hard to end um it's either something needs to end or transform or change for things to prosper page of cups when communicating it feels like feeling attacked or misunderstanding so it's like a like we both are speaking different languages here in a way the sun see it was like temporary blockages in the past like the devil is what dimmed the light in the connection is what made everything feel negative because of that devil right yeah with the will of fortune there's lots of change that happened in the past i feel like the will is here to say that they per there it's like a more of a protection from any further harm so something was definitely divinely guide this person wants to come towards you with that knight of cups yeah and they want to communicate could be dealing with an aries leo i'm sorry why did i say aries leo could be dealing with that sign too um or sag uh gemini libra aquarius it does look like this person is at a crossroads and they're thinking very logical and they do have a lot of emotions for you and they're wanting to come in but there is a need for conversation and truth right because it's like 
something needs to change, something needs to heal. This connection is coming in very strong, Cancer, very, very strong, but there still feels like things are out of balance. There's a need to prioritize. And there's a feels a need of a spark or an adventure. And this person wants to come in with that Knight of Cups, but the challenge again is that Page of Cups where it feels like somebody's doing it for their own personal gain. It's hard to believe what this person is saying because there's still something here in the past that still is a big reminder of something. So let's see what the Hermit. Two of Pentacles once again. I feel like there's like a, a need to communicate and more of action than words because there just seems like there's been so many challenges. Yeah, and then we do have the Five of Pentacles and the outcome with the Queen of Swords. There may be a lot of recovering in the outcome financially too. So it's like wanting to do something here. Now with the two of pentacles energy with the hermit, it's saying in the near future, something still feels like limbo and spirit is asking you to go within. There's a, you have all of the answers here. Um, spirit is trying to connect with you in some way, but I do see something is coming in. There is both not wanting to give up. They both, you both wanted to keep going. Um, so it's more of like a change of mindset and to be on the same page, I feel from what the reading is stating. And in the outcome, there's still a, a, an emptiness. There's still a feeling of loneliness. Um, but again, it's it feels like there's a, a need, um, a, again, a need for healing because the double was very present. Yeah, the double caused a lot of damage, right? Yeah, I see that there. It's very tough what this person is thinking of coming in to you. They are wanting to speak to you and conversate and be direct because they are feeling at a crossroads here. Um, let's get advice from spirit here, Cancer. Do not try and enforce your authority. What is being experienced inside is different than what is being reflected outside. Detach from the drama. Recognize that special someone that's in your heart. Good fortune comes with change. Okay, yeah, so change is coming. Change is coming and spirit is saying, whatever you're in limbo about or something that's hard to make a decision in, just go within, you have the answer with the hermit. It's a very wise individual, okay? Um, let's see the silent heart on what's going on here. This is this person's silent heart. I'm battling inner demons. So with the devil, it also could be addiction or, you know, it could be gambling or addictions uh, substance wise. I wish I can give you more. Um, also, this could be, you know, unhealthy behaviors, toxicity or something that a very big betrayal in the past that it feels like it's hard to forget, of course. And um, it's it's working on a connection, right? And it, it, it just seems very, yeah. So there's something I'm hiding from you. I wish I could turn back the clock and do things over. Somebody really regrets something. Rose colored glasses. Yeah. It's like they wish they never did that. <laughs> Whatever that was. I dive in and out of relationship. This person can have a tendency of like, not being consistent, maybe being a runner with that Knight of Swords, right? Coming in and out, being impulsive, getting in arguments and leaving and not coming back for days. And you don't know where the heck they are. You know, you're calling them, you're texting them, they're not answering. And then they come back, you know, I'm sorry, I want to work things out. Then a month later, they do the same thing or a couple months later. I mean, that's difficult. That's hard to be always on guard too, if someone's always running, you know, and then not answering your calls or, you know, the this devil comes back in the present moment and you thought that you guys were about to you move move 10 steps ahead and then you feel like you just moved a whole bunch of step back so yeah that that's like very hard and it's this person is clearly saying they have inner demons that they're battling right now um so i feel that this this feels very lonely in the outcome because it's like i want to persevere the love is so strong you know but there's just so much healing um, first, you are the one, the only one. 
and don't go. Don't give up on me. I'm scared to lose you. Selfish. I love the way you make me feel, but I can't give you the same in return. Yeah, it takes two to make something work, right? I both do your part. So this person is constantly doing something. I feel you're going to, that's why your wisdom comes in. Because Spirit is basically saying you have the wisdom in this connection. You have the wisdom within the situation. You've you got a good handle on that, right? It's just you know, more of, of, of you soul searching and finding out what that answer is for your situation. Because everybody's situation is going to be different when they watch tarot. But this is, this is a big message, you know, very big message. Let's see what spirit wants you to do here. Cool your emotions. Spirit wants you to cool your emotions. Full moon and Aries. And be proud of yourself for this quarter moon in Taurus. How beautiful, Taurus. We're in Taurus season, so. And new moon in Leo. Continue to shine. Take inspired action. Full moon in Virgo. Beautiful. Now let's see what the card is here for you. I love how I said good fortune comes with change, right? Good fortune comes with change. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Twin flame, your passion ignites. Yes. So there is like a both here, right? The, but there's still things that I feel are, you are battling with in this connection or this person's battling with. Either way, both of you. It just feels like a very strong connection with that twin flame energy. Now, take again people have different takes on twin flames so make sure to listen to your intuition um when you watch the videos um regarding it uh but it, it is a very strong connection it's very magnetic and it's both to help each other grow into the higher selves and learn from each other right um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here for you cancer i do see you know that spirit is saying you're pretty wise in this situation. You have a lot of spiritual growth. You're seeing things very clear. And I feel, again, it's more of you choosing on what you want to do here. Okay? Because the tarot can change at any time. The, you always have the choice in the end. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you. I hope this message helped. And if it did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless.